That's what kingdom uh, purpose will do. It will knit hearts. Now, there is a unique way that your heart becomes knit with anybody with whom it is knitted. You will discover what happened is that Jonathan happened to be listening in to a conversation that was going on between David and his father. Well, David and Saul, Jonathan's father. While Jonathan is in the background overhearing a conversation between his daddy, Saul, and his friend, David, he begins to hear some things that come out of David's heart. You see, the way to connect to a person's heart is through your ears. It is your ear that actually connects you to a person's heart. The number one complaint that I get from wives is, you know, from their husband is that he doesn't listen to me. Uh, I, I talk to him and I can tell he's not even paying attention to me. And when the person refuses to listen to you, there happens to be a disconnect. You can always find when a person is listening to God. We have too many people in the world today. Folks that come to church, their minds wandering around because of attention deficit disorder. Because they don't listen to God. And when you don't put your ear to hear what's in God's heart, you become disconnected from God, going through the motions but not really being connected. It's like living in the house with somebody that will talk to you uh, and, and uh, you know you are not listening to them or they are not listening to you and you are really not connected to each other even though you can live under the same roof, work right next to somebody, but when people run their mouths but nobody is listening, it's like all of the lights are on but nobody is home. Like not all of your chairs are at the dining room table. It's like your cheese done slid off the cracker. It's like your elevator doesn't go all the way to the top. It's like you've got loose screws. Like, uh, you know, you're not playing with a full deck. Like you're missing some marbles. There is a disconnect that seems to happen when people talk, but then the other party does not listen. If you really want to connect with somebody, you've got to open up your ears and listen to what's in their heart. You don't just listen to the blabbering of their thinking. You want to know how they really feel in their heart. You want to know what's going on in the heart. If you ever want to know what's going on in your child's life, in your spouse's life, in your special friend's life, you need to use your ear and listen to what's in their heart. Because remember the real ear, H-E-A-R-T, your real ear is located right in the center of your heart. So if you really want to connect with somebody's heart, you have to learn to use your ear. Use your ear and that will connect you to people's heart. When somebody will just take the time to listen, so many women get involved in an adulterous situation because they start talking to somebody who will listen to them. And so, because the moment that you open your heart and if somebody lends their ear, when you open your heart, there is a connection. And this is precisely what happened with David and Jonathan because while David was talking to Jonathan's daddy, Saul, something happened. Notice in verse 1, now when he had finished speaking to Saul, when David had finished speaking to Saul, the soul of Jonathan was knit to the soul of David and Jonathan loved him as his own soul because he heard the contents of his heart. 